Hi, welcome to a demonstration. We're going to be starting here in Corel Draw. We're going to open up an image. And in this document, I've prepared three different images. Uh, this toucan's real nice, but you know, on second thought, I think we're going to go back to the wizard. And we're going to go here to print. It's already set up to print a letter size page but we have to choose what printer we're going to use, in this case a C, an Epson C88 that's loaded with our Armor Ink along with a ProFlow bulk system. We're going to make sure that we choose plain paper and on the other part here we're going to choose photo quality mode. Now unlike other transfer paper for whites and lights we're not going to mirror image, we are going to print this reading the right way and we'll select current page and we're going to go to print. In a moment here you'll be seeing a shot of the printer. Uh, next to it is the ProFlow system loaded with our Armor Ink. This is really going to give you uh, best results on heat transfer. It's going to give you optimum washability and really just a lot more vibrant color. You can see that our image here is being printed reading the right way. We can see the words jet opaque nice and clear. It's not mirror image. And we're going to take it over here to the cutting table. I have a cutting mat here with an X-Acto knife that I picked up at Office Depot. And just real quick we're going to cut into the outline. I've actually on this image I've prepared a black outline all the way around it because we'll be printing it on a black shirt. And I can just work my X-Acto knife all around this quarter inch black outline not being too careful. We just want to make sure we don't want to leave any of the white edge showing. You can see here we're taking the film and we're separating it from the backing paper. That backing paper is going to get thrown out and it's the film that you see there with our wizard that's what's going to get applied to the shirt. For this demo we're going to use our IDEC heat press. It's a sliding shuttle press and we're pressing it on a 6.1 ounce Hanes black tagless tee. We've covered it here with a sheet of parchment paper which is real important because it's going to give us a nice matte finish. 350 degrees Fahrenheit and 30 seconds later we pop open our press and voila! We're going to pop this up and down once or twice just to get it to cool off just a bit and we carefully peel back our parchment paper and that's it. Look what a great looking shirt we've made on a dark color using our inkjet printer and jet opaque paper from bestblanks.com. I'd like to thank you for watching this demonstration. You can find anything you see here on bestblanks.com. For more information, please contact us today.